In this video, I'm going to show you how to refine a selection by using the Select and Mask option with the Select tool. So first, you need a selection. So I'm going to change my tool over to the Lasso tool. I'm going to get a very rough selection around this person. I'm kind of not really focusing on the edge of where the hair is uh, because we are going to use the Select and Mask function to refine it. So once I have a selection and I'm on a selection tool, up at the top, we're going to get this option, select and mask. When you click on that, it's going to open up a new window. And in that window, it's going to change the tool functions on the side, as well as it's going to add, change some of the functions on the right side. And uh, this will allow us to refine the selection and alt make alterations to it in this like secondary space before we uh, press OK and apply those changes. So one of the first things that you want to do is make sure that you're using a view mode that makes sense to you. Up at the top here, we have our view modes. And when we click on them, we have a variety of different me uh, methods that they come. Sometimes it'll be uh, an onion skid mode where it makes the portions that are outside of the selection transparent. And I can change how transparent they are so it shows everything behind it as empty, or I can have it be very little. It just depends on how you like to work. You can change it to like black on white, so you can just see the silhouette. You can change it to on white or um, on all layers, show it's showing what's there. Personally, I like using overlay because it becomes kind of obvious what is happening in the backgrounds because it's this like very obnoxious red color. If you have a background that's red, or if you have lots of red in the scene, know that you can also change the color. So it can be any other color that stands out so that you can refine the selection. So I'm going to change this so the opacity makes sense to me and that I can see my edges. Now, notice that I did not make my selection very accurate to where the hair is. And that's because we have some lovely tools on the left side that can change this. Some of them that we already know, like the quick selection tool um, or the object selection tool or the lasso tool. And this can add or subtract to those selections. So if I use like the lasso selection tool, notice that it's already in plus mode and I can keep on adding to these and they'll add to the true color sections. But I want to alter these sections that are very difficult and have all these stray hairs. And that's where the refining edge brush tool comes in handy. What it looks like is a brush tool and I can change the size and hardness as I would uh, any other tool. And I can, uh, because we're dealing with selections, I can go into adding mode or subtracting mode. And what it does is notice that there's a teeny tiny little cursor in the center and then it has the circle. The cursor kind of represents what you're trying to add. And the circle is the, the range of influence. So as I click and drag over sections, you can see how it tries to figure out what is hair and what is not. And it does a pretty good job. And I can make this pretty big so that it's thinking more uh, of the different areas. But we can see, and it's very subtle here, that it started to think that like maybe the darkness uh, and the shadows between the hair is something that I don't want. And so it's starting to take those out, which may or may not look good in the final product. Um, so. Sometimes it is a good thing to, to control a little bit and use a slightly smaller brush. And you want to brush a little bit on the outside, a little bit on the inside, so that the tool has some time to notice what is and isn't the hair or fine detail that you want. This can work on a variety of things that have outer edges. As we can see with the shirt right here, that if I drag this over, it did a good job of just seeing the edge of the shirt. And so I'm going to just speed up this process just a little bit so that you don't have to listen to me. Okay, so there we go. We have a refined selection. And I could press OK and it'll update my selection. But one thing that's smart to do is to pull the opacity up and kind of check and see what the selection looks like. We can see that it did a good job uh, on the right side, but it is trying to clip out some areas of shadow in the hair. And on the left side, I got this like negative space here, which is really good, but there's still some green of the background as well as the highlight on the hair got really muddled and confused, so it took it away. 
So that's where it's a good idea to use one of the other methods. I kind of like the, um, the brush selection because it functions kind of like a brush. And then I can just add, uh, I can brush over sections to add those back in. And there we go. We have the hair. I want to keep that. I want to make sure that the shadows don't get taken away. So I'm going to remove those. And I think I'm going to refine back out at the hair and then switch back to the refining brush tool and try to be more accurate and more on the outside of it so that it's not, not struggling as hard on what pieces to keep and what pieces to remove. It's still struggling right here. So that's where I think I'll change the brush. And this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the subtraction mode and I'm going to remove any weird excess things that stick out uh, more than I need them to. Because while we do want a couple of stray hairs because that feels like reality, um, we don't want to make this person look like a big frizzy mess. So there we go. That looks pretty good. I'm going to do one more check of uh, adjusting the opacity to see if there's anything that I'm not seeing that would be really nice to put in. And I do kind of like the hair over on that side. So I think I'm going to try one more attempt at the refine edge brush tool. But this time, I'm going to make it a lot smaller. And there we go. Once you are completely happy with things, what you're going to do is on the right side, uh, the bottom right, you're going to go and press OK. What this did is it just updated our selection so that when I want to do something like copy and then turn it off and paste something, it will be a much more refined selection. And we can see that we have some issues with like greenness in the hair, uh, as well as a couple of like little spots that are sticking out. But that created a much more accurate look of how hair functions. And then we can fine tune from there. That is refining the selection by using the select and mask function with the selection tool.